After joining the Pac-12 Conference in 2011, the Colorado Buffalo struggled through the first five seasons. Nice. Nice. But thanks to the leadership and passion of head coach Mike McIntyre, his staff, and a group of committed players, Buff fans witnessed something truly special in 2016, the rise of Colorado football. Lindsey breaks a tackle, touchdown Colorado. There's still doubters out there. We got a chip on our right shoulder, and we got a chip on our left shoulder now. Right, man? Sir. Sure. The core of our culture is helping develop these young men as people. Um, I really believe that's a, the basis of all of it. In one season, the Buffaloes flipped their conference record from one and eight to eight and one. That's it. A perfect month of November. A Pac-12 South Division title. But getting to the top is one thing. Staying there is something else altogether. Fakes the throw, now runs. Cuts it back, gets a block. Can he go? 10-5, touchdown Tates! Despite the promise of 2016, 2017 was a disappointment for Colorado. It's a lot more fun to be in first place and then um, than down where we were. Uh, you know, it all goes back to winning the close games. I mean, you hear coaches talk about that all the time. After the 2016 season, from a great year and whatnot, and I think last year we might have felt a little too too overconfident. All right, but now we got to go start start over from the bottom again and just work our way up one week at a time, one practice at a time. And I think everybody on the team's hungry. While the ups and downs of the past two seasons may have created questions for Colorado fans, one thing is certain. This year's destiny weighs heavily on the play of junior quarterback, Steven Montez. He played well for us last year, and he played well enough for us to win more than five games. His leadership, his ability to study and grow in that area, he's really grown a lot. I'm looking forward to him having a, a, an excellent year. We're athletic, big quarterback, strong arm. And you know, just him having a full year to be the starting quarterback, that's you know, gonna help him to take it to the next level. Um, at the end of the day, all that really matters to me is winning. Uh, we had kind of an up and down season last year, but I mean, we put it behind us in the past now, so we just gotta go ahead and, and win in the future. touchdown every time. I just feel like I'm a little bit more prepared, uh, to be honest. I've just been working a lot harder. Because I, like, I, I knew how to play football just instinctively. But now getting with Coach Roper and him having me watch more film, him having me like break down film, I think that I'm learning a lot more about the game than I ever knew before. Montez runs, and Montez spins, and it's a touchdown, Colorado. If Montez can find his rhythm quickly, Colorado will be a dangerous team. Fans in Boulder would surely love nothing more than to witness a sequel to the rise. I'm excited about this football team. I've watched them uh, really grow close together. It's a unique um, situation. I just see a great camaraderie. I see a great holding each other accountable. Um, so I'm excited about the, the team chemistry of this football team. You don't just look to one or two leaders. Everybody has to lead, and we, we're calling it own it. They got to own up to their own role. They got to own up to their own leadership. And they're truly buying into that, and I'm seeing evidence of that all over our team. I'm excited to see what they do when we start. Coming this season on The Drive, we go behind the scenes of every football program in the Pac 12. To tell the most compelling stories of the players and coaches in the Conference of Champions. For the most in-depth access with your team, watch The Drive on Pac-12 Network. The Drive. Shot with Canon EOS cameras and lenses.